Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. The Shadow Hunter returns. Welcome guys to the very first custom service showcase video. Uh, this is none other than the Phoenix Lord of the Striking Scorpions, Karandris, otherwise known as the Shadow Hunter. Um, we, when we came to doing a custom service, um, I really wanted to produce uh, my favourite Phoenix Lord in a new rendition to really show off the predatory kind of aspect that he's got and that hunter kind of uh, vibe that he's got going and um, it's just been a phenomenal project uh, to, to not only think of the posing and think of all the different things when it came to, to how I wanted Karandras to look for my personal custom service Karandras model um, and uh, and yeah I really really hope you like what we've done with it. Uh, ben who sculpted it done a phenomenal job of taking the, the sort of vibe and idea uh, of how I wanted him uh, and also Will uh, one of the team here at Siege done the base uh, which is just really really cool and kind of gives him that elevated kind of like stalking his foe kind of uh, look that I wanted. Um, it's just a just sort of corner of a sort of single story uh, kind of imperial building that he's just sitting on the corner of which is really cool um, but let's jump in and have a look at him um, we'll start obviously with the whole model in, in just the overall sort of composition of it obviously as you can see there's some nice eye bar that uh, Will's put into the, the basing for this project it's, it's really been a team effort to get him uh, so this uh, this kind of stage which has just been an absolute pleasure everyone that's been involved and um, for, for me personally in, in the painting of it I, I absolutely loved working on, on uh, just a different palette I don't really paint a lot of green and um, and yeah I just had a lot of fun with it um, so yeah right from the get go let's have a look at the the, the base that, that Will done um, really really cool sort of destroyed uh, in corner of an imperial building uh, with obviously the masonry blown off and then you can just see the sort of kind of like metal skeleton of the building and framework there um, that's uh, just showing moving around the other side I've got some sort of copper piping that's just kind of cut off halfway up uh, and then always like a vent thing in the corner um, again I put, there's some skulls on the base you can have a 40k model without uh, some skulls on the base uh, and then obviously you've got all the bricks and eye bar and everything that's just kind of holding that last corner of the building up um, uh, ever so carefully um, and then obviously you've got this nice flat platform that um, Karandras is uh, is sitting on now as you uh, you may see through the video there's uh, various sort of shots of him where he was just obviously a model and obviously the, the green stuff work that Ben has sculpted um, to create the this uh, truly phenomenal pose that he's just, as I said, just sitting there on the top of this corner, just waiting to pounce on somebody, um, which I just think is just really, really in keeping with with what I see Karandras as as a character. Um, and then we move around, obviously, just to look at some of the stuff that I did with the painting. Uh, as I mentioned, I don't really paint green very much, and I really wanted to. to uh, there's some artwork that I saw, which I absolutely loved. Um, it's him fighting a black Templar. And it's quite a uh, desaturated palette. So the green is not the super vibrant green that you typically see on uh, Striking Scorpions. Uh, it's a little bit more desaturated and obviously all the armor, sort of parts of his armor are blended through various different greens. Uh, and as well, the edging is, is done in various colors as well, just to really give a nice sort of subtle and contrast. I wanted him to look stealthy as well. Um, so, so yeah, um, that's kind of how I approach the green of the armor. The undersuit is uh, like a blue, black, green kind of, uh, kind of color as well which just really really gives uh, a very sort of sinister kind of feel to him um, now the host model was a fine cast version of Karandras and obviously there's a lot of work that was involved with that that Ben done to get that um, are working really well with the sculpted parts of, of Karandras also um, with the, regards to the hair, there was a lot of work needed on the hair because uh, just because of the, the fine little parts, obviously the dreads that he's got. Um, I actually initially uh, done them with um, like a, an incubi kind of color away, like uh, sort of just like very dark, deep blues. Um, but I thought that it kind of clashed with the green a little bit and just didn't work. So I went back and uh, I chatted to a few other guys here at Siege and just obviously, especially when working on a piece like this, I really wanted to uh, to, to, to push it as much as I physically could for, for the model and everything. Um, and we chose obviously in the end like doing a green uh, just to uh, to kind of um, complement the rest of the uh, of the of the model um, the gold as well obviously I've gone true metallics uh, and done loads of glazing and sort of blending and stuff on there just to uh, to really kind of add a lot of tonal variation to that 
on the um, on the heart on the kind of like the uh, the, the more parts of the head uh, I really wanted to give like a heated kind of damaged effect I can imagine those Mandy blasters just firing all the time uh, as he sort of pounces on people and, and just the, the heat damage obviously of all that shot I just uh, really wanted to to put that on the um, to put that on the model which I just think, think works you know really really well um in my opinion, um, I've always loved the kind of like lobster kind of thing on his chest as well. I just really, really uh, always like that, and uh, it's just a nice little bit of detail that I think that he's got. Uh, again, following this uh, this bit of artwork that I've seen as my main reference um, in a much more desaturated palette, um, and then making all the gems and everything be the really real vibrant parts of the miniature. Um, if we move around on the other side, you can see the, the incredible chainsaw that he's got. I've done the the, uh, the yellow striping that you've probably seen a lot of uh, striking scorpions uh, really wanted than that. And I've put on obviously blood effects onto the chainsaw he's just finished off what I'd imagine to be a victim down here or something and leapt up or something um, but I put a lot of blood effects just on the on the chainsaw and again all the gems he's absolutely covered in gems just just loads and loads and loads on him uh, so a lot of the time and, and there were some bits on there that I really wanted to just pick out like for example there's a couple of pipes and things on the rear on, on the side of the suit and I've done them in a red um, Normally chevron pipes obviously are done in like a yellow and black, but I think to complement the green, it kind of needed those red pipes just to work really well uh, with the overall scheme. Um, obviously the artwork that I copied in the sense of the colorway and sort of uh, the, the areas of detail um, was only 2D, so I couldn't really see the back of the miniature. Um, but as you can see here, you've got a bluish tinge on the uh, on the sort of uh, kind of stealth suit thing that he's got underneath the armor. Uh, so I put some little, like blooms of light on those areas, uh, on the cylinders and spheres and shapes of his sort of anatomy. Um, and then uh, around the Mandy Blaster at the back, there's uh, there's these little gems just on the kind of like, uh, I don't know what it is, but it's just the part behind the green area on the Mandy Blaster. Um, there's a lot of gems on him, as I mentioned, and I, I, it's been difficult to kind of choose which one should be red and blue. I didn't want to do too many blue ones, but, um, but it really gives you hopefully a good idea of what's possible with... Um, with, with custom service and what you can achieve just obviously let alone obviously any painting that's done for you here with us at siege but also with the uh, the sculpting and things that uh, the uh, new team here at custom service can offer uh, which i just think uh, gives you you know the opportunity to bring your favorite character whether it's from something you've thought of or artwork or uh, from a book you've read or something just gives you the opportunity to create that character for your personal collection be it for gaming or for um or for so just display um some of the little things i really love about him is this there is the power fist i wanted it to look like there's a lot of strength in him in the pose like as in you can see that he's a very powerful fighter but at the same time he looks relaxed calm and collect with that just loose handed sort of power fist claw just just hanging down by his side which i just think works quite nicely and all the the readiness is is, is shown in that chain sword that he's got um which is just my favourite, and obviously all the lenses on his face are done in the red as well to match the artwork, and it obviously complements the uh, the uh, the green armour. Uh, you've got obviously various little grenades and things that are just tucked away by his side, which uh, were really nice to paint. Uh, and again, you see that green tinge on the dreads, which I just think works quite nicely. The gem on the headdress, on the top of the headdress, was probably one of my favourite things to paint, being honest. I spent quite a lot of time just getting the uh, transitions and catch lights and sort of edges on there, but um, really, really enjoyed painting that. Um, and yeah, the uh, the chainsaw, he's very clean, as, uh, like the, what I want wanted to paint him in, in a clean fashion but like um the chainsaw i felt deserved um a substantial amount of damage and weathering on it and obviously it's gonna have blood effects and things on there as well so uh so that's kind of like what i went for um just to go and move away from crown just so we can actually have a look at the base as well that will created for the uh, the piece um I've obviously done a lot of rust effects and things on there because I, I thought having quite a desaturated base as well because he's quite bright even though the greens and the reds are probably the most saturated colors that are on the miniature um I wanted quite a desaturated base just to add some contrast between the miniature and also the base. And you can see the orange that I've used for the rust is very bright. I wanted that stark kind of like uh, the colorway of the rust on the base uh, and tried to add a bit of narrative where it's just dribbling down obviously with uh, where water and moisture is running and then just pulling at the bottom here, which uh, is something that I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, really, really had a lot of fun uh, on, on painting Grandress. It's uh, you know been a nice challenge to paint with colors. I don't really paint very much with obviously the red gems and things I paint red loads but um yeah the green was a lovely lovely task and, and sort of a challenge to actually uh, to, to paint him uh, so I do hope you like Carandris he's been a phenomenal uh, personal miniature to paint uh, both for obviously the company for the launch of custom service and also just to add to my personal collection of some of my favorite characters from the 40k narrative um, so yeah I do hope you've liked him ever so much he's now off to go and join uh, some other miniatures on the 
the shelf and look very much like he's about to engage them. So I do hope you like him ever so much, guys. And uh, if you are interested in creating your favorite character or even a character that you've made up for your army, um, please feel free to obviously head to the Siege website and check out the custom service contact form that can be found on there. Uh, Karandras is uh, is going to be now joining my personal collection of miniatures, which I've, uh, I've loved painting. So uh, thanks for checking the video out. I hope you like the launch of custom service and I will see you very, very soon on the next one. Look after yourselves and uh, stay safe. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.